Okay, change these Fujifilm settings like right now. Right now, go to your camera and change. You don't have to. Hey guys, I'm right here. Now features are nice, but some of them I turn off. And this quick list, maybe you want to turn them off depending on your needs. Number one, sound. You don't really need a sound confirmation for autofocus because your little box or your zone will turn green. So you get a visual representation if the camera has locked focus. So simply go to the wrench menu or the spanner menu and you go to sound setup and turn off autofocus beep volume. Do us all a favor. Number two, turn noise reduction off. Well, actually it's not off, but I like to turn my noise reduction for my JPEGs to minus four. Now you could experiment with minus two or minus one, but I found that if noise reduction is on and you're shooting at higher ISOs, I actually prefer the noise over the smeary, clean, strange JPEG look you sometimes get because of the noise reduction. So I would say turn noise reduction down. You can't really turn it off. Third, your touchscreen. It's a great feature. However, sometimes, I don't know if this has happened to you, your focus point ends up in the corner and you're constantly trying to get it back to the middle. This is more of a case with the smaller cameras because you're holding it and a little bit of your flesh just kind of grazes the edge of the screen and your focus point jumps over there. So I found that with the Fuji X-T20, I was constantly trying to get that focus point to the middle. Now you would think in the menu, it's under the wrench and screen setup, but it's not, it's considered a button. If your camera is lacking a D-pad, you do have swipe touch features that uh, give you some menu options. You're gonna lose those if your touch screen is off. So be aware of that. You know what, just leave it on. No, turn it off. Next, turn off your uncompressed RAW. <laughs> Fujifilm RAW files are pretty big. They're like 50 megabytes or so. And there really isn't a difference in quality if your RAW file is compressed. So what you gotta do is go to image quality, raw recording, and change it to lawless, law lawless? It's very dangerous. <laughs> Lossless compressed. And what that does is it makes your file size around 30 megabytes or so. So you can save some card space. Next one, turn off your image review, man. The DSLR days are over. You don't need to chimp or check your photograph after you take it, you just saw your photograph. Fujifilm cameras are mirrorless cameras that give you a preview. Now, I sometimes get some messages where people are like, my pictures are too dark and they look good in the viewfinder. That's because you need to go to your screen setup menu and make sure that your preview exposure and white balance is set to on. Make sure that's on. And then anytime you change your settings, you'll see your photograph get darker or brighter. The next one is to turn off your dedicated autofocus mode. Instead of being in single focus mode, some Fujifilm cameras have a, a mode called all. Turn off the, it's not really, we're cheating again. It's not really turning off, but turn on. That's not what this video is about. Turn on uh, the one that says all. Now what's cool is if you push the back joystick button and increase the size of your focus point, it goes to the next focus mode. That way you don't have to scroll through all the focus modes. Okay, this video was off the hook. <laughs> Let me know if you wanna see anything about turning things on in the menu. All right, I'll see you guys next time.